Hi, I'm Albion Chandler, and welcome to the Marlin Report at Fort Stewart, Georgia, home of the 3rd Infantry Division. After serving two years as the Commanding General for the 3rd Infantry Division and nine months in Afghanistan, Major General Mike Murray said his final goodbyes during a retreat ceremony at Marlin Garden. Photojournalist Zach Grinstrom takes us to the grounds where this heartfelt farewell took place. Thanks for coming out to pay honor to Major General Mike Murray and Jane Murray as they conclude their service here with this fantastic Marne Division. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin McKay, Deputy Chief of Staff, Task Force Marne, will now present a gift to Major General Murray on behalf of all of the dog-faced soldiers in the 3rd Infantry Division and Fort Seward. The black reads, Major General John M. Murray, Marne 6, 2 August 2013 to 1 August 2015. From the officers, non-commissioned officers, and dog-faced soldiers of the 3rd Infantry Division, thank you for your steadfast leadership and dedicated service. Rock the Marne. There's only 11 divisions in the Army and a lot of great officers, and most of those officers probably deserve this more than I ever did. Uh, but So it is an honor and a privilege to be able to command one of the Army's 11 divisions. Today you're changing a division commander. And that is the biggest change today. But what is more important is the continuity. And it's the continuity represented by the great leaders, non-commissioned officers of the 3rd Infantry Division, who were here yesterday, who are here today, and will be here tomorrow doing the same outstanding work for their country that they do each and every day. Another piece of continuity is the history of this great division. And that history lives and it grows stronger each and every day based upon the accomplishments of the leaders and the units they represent to stand on the field today. Now there's something very special about this installation, and this is my first assignment to Fort Stewart. Matter of fact, this is the first time I'd ever been on Fort Stewart. And there's something very special about this division, the first time I've been assigned to the 3rd Infantry Division. And there is definitely something very special about being a dog-faced soldier. From the banks of the Martin River in 1917 to Bagram Airfield in 2015, through six combat deployments since 2003, Marne soldiers have been there and have always served with pride, honor, and distinction. I am eternally honored to be a part of their team, and I'm proud to have the privilege for the rest of my life to call myself a dog-faced soldier. There's a lot to be said for Coastal Georgia, the warmth of the people here. It truly is a place of Southern hospitality. We come and go, but Hinesville, Pembroke, all the surrounding communities just make you feel like family. So I know that, that we're leaving, but I will always look back on this place as um, a place with a lot of friends that I consider family and just tremendous memories of our time here. So I just say thank you. Thank you, Fort Stewart. Thank you, Hinesville. Thank you, Coastal Georgia. official retreat with the 3rd Infantry Division and Fort Stewart. You know, I just thank, the, as I always do, the communities, the, the people that surround Fort Stewart and Hunter Army Airfield for their support. And it's not about me, it's about support for the soldiers and the families, and, and we've been very, very proud to be a part of their community. Thank you for watching the 2014 Keith L. Ware First Place Award-Winning Law Report. For more segments, go to YouTube.com and subscribe to our 3rd Infantry Division channel so you will never miss an episode. Rock of the Mars.